What's up guys, it's Jay, more than I have to kill, and I'm bringing you another video, but this time I don't want to be real negative, I kind of want to be positive, but I got something that's a little bit negative to say, and that's a lot of words to say, and it's just a little bit of time. Anyway, I'm no auctioneer, so I'm not going to sit here and talk in fucking rhythm, and go ahead and give you guys 50 words per fucking minute, because that's not who I am. Well, actually, it is who I am, but, you know, that's not the topic of the commentary, that's not what we want to talk about. What I do want to talk about today is Netflix, Hulu, uh, even the Xbox DVD, and the PS3 uh, Blu-ray player. Now, a lot of people aren't going to realize this on a daily basis because you guys, you know, have normal lives. You don't uh, really put yourself into other people's shoes. Now, I was born half deaf. Uh, it wasn't as bad as it really was as it is now, but progressively over my life, my hearing has gotten worse. That's why I talk loud. That's why some of my videos may seem really fucking loud. That's why sometimes in the videos you may see that the audio gets a little bit off, like, you know, with the uh, background sounds being a little bit too low, because when I do render my videos, I do have to have my monitor on a higher setting than normal, so sometimes my girlfriend turns down the monitor, I don't notice, and I make the fucking video really fucking loud, and then, you know, later on I'm looking and I'm like, why the fuck is this video loud? Because I've already adjusted the goddamn volume on my monitor, and then I look and I'm like, oh man, girlfriend fucking you know, fucked with my shit, and it kind of fucked up one of my videos. Oh well, big deal. Shit happens, you guys can just turn up the video, turn it down, whatever. Uh, you know, that's no big deal. But the problem that I do have is, is that on like Hulu, uh, Netflix, you also have Crackle, and the Xbox DVD player and the PS3 Blu-ray player, you will notice, uh, if you actually really, really take a look at it, that the volume on these devices are really fucking low. When I watch a DVD on the Xbox, or I watch a, you know, uh, Hulu or Netflix, the volume is half of what a normal TV is broadcasted at, so I have to turn the volume up twice as high. But the only problem with that is, is that my TV is always at half full volume. It's always at 50 out of 100, so I can hear it. Normal listening levels would be 20 to 30. I'm half deaf, so it's always about double. So when you, uh, you know, make the volume half of what it really is, and then I have to go ahead and double it on my TV. Now I'm only hearing it at a normal level of what a person would be hearing it. And I can't jack it up just a little bit to appease my hearing. And the problem with that is, is that fucking these things don't recognize closed captions. And a lot of the movies and TV shows don't have subtitles on them. Now, on the Xbox DVD and the PS3 Blu-ray, I can put subtitles on there because the DVD does have, you know, the extra features to include that in there for hearing impaired people. I'm a hearing impaired person. So, of course, my TV always has fucking uh, closed captions on it. Every DVD that I watch, I put on the subtitles. I can't go to a movie theater because I hear fucking nothing but bass and it sounds muffled. You ever go underwater and you hear fucking shit and it's kind of like muffled and all fucking, you know, really weird sounding? That's what my hearing sounds like when I hear something with too much bass. I hear treble very, very well. I hear high pitches very, very well. Anything with a low pitch, anything with a fucking really deep bass, anybody with a really deep voice, I have trouble picking that out. I can't really hear that. And this is the problem with, uh, you know, with Hulu and Netflix, is that they don't have anything set up for hearing impaired people. They don't recognize uh, subtitles for the TV, they don't recognize any of that, and it's really kind of fucking my shit up, because I want to watch some of these programs that they're offering on this, uh, you know, this service that they're offering, and I can't partake into it because I have a disability. Now, I'm not sitting here, I don't want to make you guys fucking, you know, cry or fucking, you know, really pity me, but like, oh man, I feel sorry for this guy, he has a fucking hearing problem. No, because everybody has a fucking disability, whether you want to fucking admit it or not. Some people are fucking assholes, that might be your disability, you never know. You might be socially fucking impaired, you never know. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, is that I just wish that these companies would offer some type of services for the hearing impaired people that want to partake in these type of really awesome uh, video on demand features. Because I do like to watch TV shows. I like Law and Order. I like Pawn Stars. I like Ancient Aliens. I love all the shit that they fucking have. And I want to watch it when I want to watch it. Video on demand. That's what I love about that. But I can't really watch it because now I got to jack my TV all the way up to 100. And it's really like it's only on 40 on my TV, which means I would actually have to sit a little bit closer, or I'm going to have to get some big-ass speakers hooked up to my TV so I could jack them up with a fucking outside amp uh, receiver or a home theater fucking system. You guys know what I'm talking about. So I just wish that uh, these companies would be a little bit more mindful 
when they're, uh, you know, putting these type of services out there. And uh, I was really thinking about maybe starting a petition and sending it to Netflix and making them, you know, a requirement for them to have subtitles on every single fucking thing that I'm watching on there because some things don't. The TV shows don't. They don't get picked up over closed captioning. And that's kind of fucked up. And that's why I like, you know on demand for my cable so much is because that actually does come through with subtitles through my TV with the closed caption and I can watch and enjoy the movie without having everybody in my house fucking waking up at 2 in the goddamn morning because I felt like watching the Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> so I just wanted to bring that just a little bit of insight into that for you guys uh, so you guys can know what I go through on a daily basis with my hearing uh, impediment, my hearing impairment, whatever you guys want to fucking call it. It's, uh, it's not fun, but you get used to it, and that's why I'm loud. That's why I'm fucking brash. That's why I fucking sound like I'm screaming into the mic is because I don't hear my own voice at the same volume as other people. So what I think I'm saying is low is actually normal, and I'm over here fucking using my outside voice inside. I'm like, yo, what's up, bitches? And everybody's like, yo, dude, what the fuck? Why are you so loud? You asshole, you trying to wake everybody up? No. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to bring that to you guys. My name's Jay, more than I have to kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'm going to see you guys later.